do a cutout today. Um, as you can tell, I have my jacket on. It's a little chilly out. Just a little bit um, from southern Arizona. We got a slight breeze, but the problem is that it's going to get windy. It's supposed to be like 30 mile, 30 mile per hour wind later on. So we want to get this done as quickly as possible. And there's many bees in here as possible. What happened was a friend of ours called us and getting a good beekeeper. We have to do cutouts every now and again. And so they have this junk trailer and they said right across as you can see behind me is the house and the fence and they were back there and they started getting stung. So we're gonna have to remove these bees. Um, they're 99.99% gonna be Africanized because that's just what we have around here and the fact that they attack the owners. So we're gonna have to deal with them. Um, they are in this junk trailer in what I saw as a tire. I'll zoom up this later and give you a shot, but that's what we're going to be doing today. As you can tell, it's a lot of, it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of trash, tumbleweeds, and nasty stuff that goes around here. But that's what we got. So we're going to work on that today and move on. Okay, to start out, of course, we have to clear our area and see what we're dealing with. For all you non Arizonians out there, um, you, the bush that we're clearing right now is tumbleweeds. If you've ever seen a western and you see that bush bounce across the road, well, that's it. These are very prickly bushes, but they die off and become very fragile, so they're easy to remove. We start taking a crack at that trailer, and it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Everything's just been sitting there for so long, and it's kind of just all laying on each other, so you have to remove it little by little. And you can tell I don't have a suit on here, so I'm being as careful as I can. But, of course, I rattle the hive, and they let me know that I, I did that, and they come and tell me what's up. So, of course, I gear up, and I get ready to go at it. I start tearing out a little bit more aggressively because I have to get in there as quickly as possible. Because when a hive is not broken over, broken open, you learn this from dealing with these type of bees, these killer bees, they're pretty aggressive. So you have to get in there as quickly as possible to get them more calm. Because as soon as you start opening up brood and tearing the comb and relocating it, they'll start calming down. I proceed to remove things from this, this trailer. And the house behind is actually the owner's house. They're the one that asked us to come today. I told them to keep all dogs inside for the day because these bees will attack anything that moves. We come in for a close-up for this. You can see that fender, that white um, quad fender. As we pull that up, there's actually comb that they constructed to the bottom of it. So that tells me that they are a huge hive. This is a big tire. This is a 33, so it's fairly big. And they're overflowing from it. Now, we're extremely grateful right now because we look at this and there's there's a tire, but it's not connected to a rim. Dealing with tires is very difficult. Hopefully later I'll be able to make a video on how to open them up, but this one doesn't have a rim. And when a tire doesn't have a rim, you can get in there so much easier without even cutting it. But cutting does make it extremely easy, and I'll make a video on that later on how to cut a sidewall of a tire so you can get in there and open up these hives. Well, as you can see, we've exposed the tire. Um, off to the left over here, right here, we have our nuke. That hopefully, we'll get them to go in. Right now, they are just packed on the side over here. Just don't know what to do. So, luckily, well, hopefully, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to open up the tire. And find the queen, hopefully, move some brood over into our nuke box, which hopefully with that, as I say, hopefully with all this thing, they'll start to move into our nuke. And then we can capture the queen, we can do what we need to do, and get her into here safely so that the rest of the bees will fall. That is the plan. Of course, nothing ever goes as planned. Okay, so we adjust our nuke over to that other wall where there's plenty of those bees so that 
maybe we can get the marching effect and get these to start liking to our nuke. But we know for a fact that over on that wall, the queen's most likely not there because those are all bees that have flown there. And the queen is probably laden with eggs, so she's not going to be over on that wall. But it would help if they would start liking onto our nuke. So, what do we do? We start cracking at the hive, start removing as much comb as possible, trying to look for the queen. You see me flip over the comb. You see me, once I've made sure that the queen's not on there, I'll actually shake the bees onto the entrance of my nuke hoping that they'll run in there and actually take a like into my nuke. We proceed just layer by layer, cracking at this pretty much this onion of a hive, trying to find the queen. Once we find this, the queen, it's a game changer. But like any other th thing that we're doing, it's all hopefully. We make all the plans, we look for the queen, we do everything right, and it will rarely go as planned. But this is why it's so much fun, because we're always just improvising, trying to figure out what we can do to make these awesome creatures go into our box and become useful for us. And as you look at our suit, you do notice there's a difference. Most people on YouTube, they will wear a half suit, or maybe in a veil. I've seen people with shorts. Could you imagine me wearing shorts right now? I mean, I have bees crawling everywhere. You can't have anxiety with this. I mean, you have to be calm. I won't ever take anyone with me that's allergic just because it, that would make it extremely dangerous. But we've learned how to deal with these. We've learned how to, to make them useful. And so we can't do anything about what kind of bees are out here naturally because someone messed up once and brought a brought these aggressive bees across but now that's all we got and they're thriving so we suit up we adapt we do our best now you see here I've actually selected some comb out of this tire and it's almost the perfect size for our frame so we rubber band it in this will make our nuke that much more appealing to these guys why because they'll have babies in there and they'll want to cover them as you can tell, I just laid them onto the top, and they covered them already. And that's the effect that we want. We want them to like our nuke and start moving in. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Um, we got our nuke right there. We'll move, her, we'll move it closer in a bit. But, let's see if I can find you guys. If you come in like this, we cut the sidewall of this tire so we can get in there and look. Now, the queen's watching time. We gotta find one bee in all this mess. And oh, when you find her, she's a beauty. If not, we'll just start shuffling bees over to that box so that again, they can all start moseying that way. Um, stay tuned. See that they're marching in right now.
So it's the next morning. We caught this hive yesterday out of that tire. Um, it was a lot of work, but we got them out of there. They march really good into our, our box. We're being really quiet because we don't want them to come out. We've come out early so that they wouldn't be out of the box yet, that we could show you the positioning that we have this box in. Put it underneath a nice mesquite tree so it has nice shade in the summer heat. And we hope that this hive for us will grow into a producing hive where we can extract honey and it can be fruitful for us. Um, we didn't have the opportunity to actually see the queen and catch her, which is our number one goal when we do cutouts. But like I said earlier, you go in with a thousand plans and you don't do a single one of them. You're always improvising. You're always trying to figure out how to make the bees work for you. Especially these bees, they're, they get a little Western on you. Um, but we do hope that they'll stay for us and of course grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did take six or seven stings. Six of those were in the face and another one I think was in the leg. But we, we love them anyways and we love doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you can like and subscribe to this video and wait for more to come.